Welcome to the Epirus campaign for Davidiet Impera 1.2.7. In the last part, we were able to steal Rome after the Etruscan League came down here and destroyed the garrison. You can see Rome's still got a problem and it's going to rebel. Down here, this small legion here has retreated back against the garrison here. So we're going to have a little bit of a problem getting there. And of course, we're not far off rebellion in Taurus as well. So we've got rebellion everywhere. And what I'm thinking is that the Romans have built quite a substantial navy here. And I'm kind of wondering whether we can sucker them into actually attacking. So if I pull this army back over here, we're going to pull the navy back to Taurus. Uh, just to see, actually, no. Let's send the navy over to Apollonia, yes. because if I put the navy in there, we will actually get a negative public order. When well, we got negative there, we we're going to get rebellion there. We got this army here. We got about seven thousand to spend. I'm very tempted to see if I can recruit something in here. I mean, I wouldn't mind. A lot of money for 15, 10, melee defense, armor 11. I'm wondering if I can find merge these together and recruit one of these. That would give me, keep my cavalry strength up, but at the same time, it will. And what I wouldn't mind is uh, a couple of these. Actually, no, cancel that for the moment. Because the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is actually raising a general here. Uh, what we got here? Well, all land units. Actually, yeah, you, you're pretty good. You're Mol Molossian nobility, so we're going to raise an army here. Uh, then we're going to recruit a couple of... Okay, one slinger. What that should do is keep the um, rebe rebels under control here. And then we can consider building up an army here. Or... Let me just see. I think what we'll do here for the moment is we'll just bring in really cheap units. These guns are actually more expensive than the light hoplites. We're bringing a couple of light hoplites in here. I know I'm spending all my money and that means I'm not developing every, anything here. I think the priority's got to be beating the Romans. If we can get beat, defeat the Romans completely, then we should be okay. And I think we're going to bring you up as well so you can give a possible assist to these. We've got some research to do. Actually, Italian Wars. Actually, quite like that. Um, so, if we build that. Actually, I could have got another dignitary, but I think trying to sucker the Romans into coming and attacking Asculum would be advantageous because the garrison here isn't be that good <laughs> okay let me just so i think that's all we can do we're just going to go for an intern and then we'll see what we can do here they come yes and we're just gonna to resolve we're gonna concede the defeat but that traps their navy in that port now and yes they've got a big navy but we've got a bigger army Okay, Rebellion Eminent in Latinum, yes, okay, thank you game. Now, Ready for orders. hello guys, look at that. Uh, what's the auto resolve on this? 81%, I think we can take that. 81%, 79. Aggressive, protective. That destroys their navy. And we took a little bit of damage. Commander. And what's the garrison up here? 
thing. At your command. But these guys will replenish. I am greater and sabotage you. settlement. I think we're attack. Attack. we'll go with the sabotage in the settlement. My power knows. Got some mini guarding soldiers, yes. Down here, these guys are just on the. These guys are fortified, just on the edge again. Ready for orders. These are three Ready against for fourteen. Order. Question is, if I, we hunger for battle. If I bring you across, At once. right? That now opens up these, and you pull in. We can pull in a Merc unit. You can come down to here. Question is fight or they've got one cavalry. I think we're going to fight this because I've been feeling the uh, auto resolve would just be too cruel. We'll wait. Dry, start deployment. Now, in the here, it should only be the defending army. What we're going to do is we're going to effectively rush them with. Uh, We go, everyone. What we're going to do is we're going to quite literally rush them. If we can get. Yes, thank you, game. Where's my reinforcements? Up there. Okay, you're in the ideal position. If we can get the fort before the garrison arrives, we're, we'll be okay. Okay, they're coming out. Big mistake, big mistake. Okay, front line. Infantry out and flank. You guys into the fort. I think there's... Yep, that's okay. It looks like they're trying to consolidate. You guys into there. Something is you put out a flank that way. You guys in the fort. Pullsman. Flingers in. Uh, General, you come up here. Uh, wait, come on guys, over here, come on, quick, 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 quick. You, onto the bear backs. things first neutralize the fort so
<laughs> Thing is over there. You in that corner. Let's neutralize this fort out first. Okay. Well, we know the opposition is up there. <laughs> neutralize this fort completely. Just kill these guys. I don't want them running around. Just see nothing there. I'm just going to hook you out because you're damaged. Uh, in general, you're going to have to do the recon. Right, we've got the four. You can come out this way. Flingers. We have captured a tower. Yep, thank you, game. You guys over here. Actually, you guys can go there. We've got the fort, but they're not going to come to us. We're going to have to go to them. Right, here they come. Okay, back. We have captured a tower. Okay. We're going to take up a defensive position first. Um, we're going to defend the fort because they seem to be coming towards us. So, general there. Wait, what are you doing back there? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put guys there. You guys there. Bring you back to defend this fort here, so make sure we know which man of Italia slingers back. Where's the other slinger unit? General, I think. Where's my two generals? Just bring them together. You come into here, you come into there. You guys can kind of put a ah. He's back here. Ready for orders. Light hoplites. Light hoplites. Fingers out on that side. Fingers on this side. Swords there. Where are you guys? Uh, I think we'll just have to pull you back a little bit. We've got slingers right out on this flank here. I think we can use the general you get rid of these guys um I need more cav but You guys destroy them. You come up on this flank.
Now, they've only got the two, the one cav unit. Okay, they're now in range of the uh, <laughs> okay, general back. Bring these guys out. My general kind of hid in the in the long grass over here. And you guys can just plug that gap there. Bring us back. Danny and the spearman. Uh General out that way. One of our units has used all its ammunition. By your command. These are Italian swordsmen. Your orders? No! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, they're now engaged. We can start to push out this way. Start to wrap around them. Slingers hit the These have got these pin actually you disengage, you push, you pull out this way. These guys are going down. We're now amongst their missile troops. And you out this way so you don't kill my own troops. You out this way as well. <laughs> you guys round the back. You, uh, I think these guys are holding, but you come into here and start pushing through on the front here. What we got here? General, you kill these. This is very much it. Right, you can come in on this back. These guys are starting to collapse. Slingers. Let's make sure these all these guys are dead. Gonna you start to general out this way. Swordsman in on these, so we can clear this flank. And and this is very important when you fight the Romans. Going head to head is a waste, absolute, total waste of time. What you've got to do is always look for the flanking motion. Uh, you come over here. Right. So, so what you do, whenever you fight the Romans, you always roll up from the outside. You win a flank. As soon as you win a flank, you go in this way. All right, we can get a combination attack here. As he comes in. Uh, pop that. Oops, wasn't particularly that good, but slingers pull away. General, get into this position. You guys kind of pulverize these guys. Actually, they've gone. Slingers away. Don't kill my own troops. You. Okay, uh, uh, general's broken out of the cab unit. Get this up here. Actually. Your job is to kill those. Fingers. 
keep pulverizing up he's gone okay keep chasing uh gonna continue we want these guys dead uh let me just make sure we got them all dead completely i want certainly want these dead there's my other one fleeing this way that's what's left of the general unit the general unit dies anyway so we're just going to actually they could probably kill my own men so uh quick battle end battle we lost 284 we killed 27715 that is effectively the end of the last uh, Roman army. And that should leave Constantia open for attack because we've destroyed virtually all the garrison as well. And down they go. <laughs> and well, we're now ideally. <laughs> Yes, we can. We can sweep in and we can just occupy. That was a nice, nice win. Um, what have we got here? Herding ground, three food. We can keep that. Quarry, 150. I think we can just sit on that for the moment. Um, what I wouldn't mind doing is actually building an Agora in there. The only thing I can't tell at the moment is whether I can... What we got here? Consecrated ground to Hellenic culture. What's the culture like here? 1%. Wow. So we've got this here. So effectively Rome is now reduced to a single settlement up here. Which... Um, and we've got a damaged army here. We've got someone with... Uh, Traditions, so they're going to take the campaign movement range and uh, even more campaign movement range. We're going to really double up because if I can get to them in one turn, we've cracked it. Wouldn't mind another unit in here as well if we could recruit one. What we got here? Lucian Hoplites. Not bad, melee defense. There, but in some ways I wouldn't mind someone here because you can see now we've captured Italia we've got access to some pretty good um, Roman AOR units kind of it's a good life. tempted to go for two of those so if we can come up and take Irinium what I will do is where's my navy your job is going to be to come back over here deal with any rebellions because of course once we've destroyed Rome, we're going to have to really consolidate this position here. Because at the moment, everything's against us. We've got lots of public order here because it's minus 37. Commander. So we're going to have to, once we've got Rome, we're going to have to spend a little bit of time consolidating. We're probably going to need to come over and send something over here and try to sort out there. We've got a lot of rebuilding to do. So I think that's all we can do this turn. So we're just going to go for an in. Oh, what's my assigned skill? Oh, what was that? We can actually put in a... I think that was a, an edict, wasn't it? That'd be quite nice. I mean, because all these set, cities are a little bit... I mean, all these cities are a little bit a mess at the moment. Um, kind of just want to check my loyalty. They should be really loyal because they should be really happy. Yeah, you can't get married. Why can't none of these guys... Oh, because we've got no money, probably. Yeah. We need to get these guys married so we can work on the... What we call it? The... Um, Empire maintenance. Sorry. <laughs> Brain faded a little bit there. Tax harvesting. I wouldn't mind getting that growth going. It's gonna, I mean, we've got the food for it. And the public order. Because the public order at the moment is trash. Because, uh, you know, we've got... We're still kind of on the conquest cooldowns as well see there it says there conquest next turn only 15 turns so but hopefully once we got this done so oops, we've got a skill to do uh, I, this guy here yeah we really need to get this guy into an army so that he can do something mm. uh, what else can we get him chance of evading enemy agents actually 
quite like the idea of being able to evade enemy agents. So let's see if we can now finish off Rome. <laughs> Thank you, Etruscans. And we're just going to nice thing about having an aggressive ally on your border <laughs> he deals with all the troublemakers yeah agent okay rome got, got slums and Ascalon. okay i wasn't well, that's okay because Ascalon's a what's the slow okay ha. i have to spend 500 on clearing that up okay we're not going to be able to reach You've only got the single general. Ready for battle. What we're going to do is come up here. At once. And we're just going to fortify. At your command. And I think we'll bring this army round to about here. Is that all? And we're losing money. That's understandable. We got these idiots here. I'm just going to take out the trash. And that will give these guys a... A little bit more status and a little bit more cash I you're not allowed to raid in my territory just trying to put this army with Constantia I always like to put the army this side because if they, anyone comes up here they will can do can be a bit of a pain in the neck we got here chance of discovering hidden agents and armies that could be quite nice i think what we need to do now is take some of these into a less aggressive positioning all um, percent research public order yep that's what we can do now is send our agent down here i want to just check out what's going on down here We've got two thousand odd here very tempted to recruit some more troops here. Mm -hmm. Let me just see. Ascalon. I don't I mean we don't have the money for that anyway. Ready for I want really want to push out the Romans in this turn. So I think if we, we need good fighters. you've got At your more slingers, the fact that we probably don't need actually what well, is really cheap. One five eight. These Greek slingers are only ninety nine. Um, I actually quite like the idea of these guys, but at the same time. Feel that if we recruit serve? an Italian swordsman for here, actually cancel that. Let's move you a little bit closer. March. Of course, it's winter. You, have further mm. orders? you can recruit. Soldiering. And then what we'll do is it's we'll bring the two armies together against the Romans here. And let's see how it goes. I don't think we can do anything else. Any. No one's got a promotion, so I'm just going to go for an intern. There's an alliance being broken. There's a new faction rises. The Tour de Tarni, that's actually out in Spain. The early spring troops recruited, right? Ready for battle. Here we go. Besieging settlement. None will escape. Um. I think we're just going to encircle the moment. I think... How close can you get? I want these guys to get close enough to support, but yeah, they're not. You need to be a smidge closer. Because, of course, we want to fight this. Because this is the last of the Romans. So, and we've got to give them a good send-off. So here we go. The Battle of Arinium. 
Eat nice and dry. Start deployment. Our reinforcements are coming in from over there. That's good. So we have to be a little bit aware of where their reinforcements are coming in from. But these guys are a little bit beat up in the centre, so we'll keep them there. And then we're kind of put you each side there. I'm kind of inclined to put the pike units in the center there. We have to keep general. You're going to have to keep well out of it. Um, slingers want you on that side and that side. Uh, uh, let me see. We got a couple of sarissas. I think we'll put you over there. The, the elephants on this side because that's where our, our healthy generals coming in from. Got some axe warriors, okay. And what have we got? And in the swordsman, I think we'll put on this side with these guys. You can support the there. Come there. You guys can just stand in position there. And these are axemen. These will be quite good on that side there. I'm going to say we're going to have to keep an eye on our general. And what I'd like to do is try to move the whole front line forward a little bit. Yeah, okay. Where's the reinforcements coming from? Where's our reinforcements? Where's the enemy reinforcements coming from? Get you down onto this flank. Uh, we're trying to bring you guys over this way. A bit where, where's these reinforcements coming from? Okay, Sarissa's. Right. Pike infantry forward. Slingers forward. Gear forward. That's the what we got over here. Don't, don't really want to barge in there. No, oh, there they are. Yeah, we, there's nothing we can do about that. I was hoping they'd be a bit closer, but. Okay. Bring you up there. We'll keep you just here with the general out here. Elephants, armored elephants, go out and join that side. Okay. Where's the Italian cavalry? Let's set up an ambush for these guys because these are missile troops. So. And cavalry should be able to dispatch those relatively easily. Uh, I think what we're going to do is. We can get a flanking in. You guys can. Right, there's a. Parts forward. Get this general down. It'd be worth it. The hundred unit general here. And um. ah. bring up this side. Just let them get ashore, and then we can send the Sarissas behind. Ah, uh, he's starting to go down now. What we got here? Our hidden units have been discovered. Yep. We're okay. What we got back here? 
What are you doing back here, Expert? It's time for you guys to get in behind. Uh, slingers. Let's get the flanking action going. We can't afford to rush this. What I want is... You get in and take out this light infantry. There's their general at the back there. I mean, these guys are pretty heavily armoured. Hey, what are you doing? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's just reform this line. Yeah, they got a bit messy. Okay. <laughs> you keep firing into them. Actually. Kind of starting to make a dent in these. Right, these guys are dying. Louts. Right, these guys are ripe for an elephant attack. And uh, where's my other general? Right. Ah. Town guard there. Oh, they're giving a hit by javelins. Okay, we've got the battle line ready. We're just moving forward. We just trashed the opposition there. Right, where else can we chip away at them? We got here tanning guard down guard there i think we're just going to use up all the stingers ammunition the best we can moving forward a smidge where's my Move you forward so you can pin them. Slingers, Slingers in that way. Okay. Wait, armored elephants back this way. Right, we need to find a way in now. But we can start to use our. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I think we're sending you guys over here. Right, we've got a break here. They've broken their flank here. Uh, general, where's my other general? I think you can come in a bit closer now. Elephants. Right, these guys are getting... Axe warriors that way. Come. Same as the last battle. You beat the Romans by flanking them. You don't beat them by uh, wandering around the map. These guys have got a little bit more ammunition. We just keep the cavalry out there with cause it posing a threat. Please bronze, bronze your spike. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realise I was attacking with a unit in there. Right. right. These guys are starting to go. You push through there. 
Ah, no, nope, don't want the Royal Cavalry in there. Right, we've got an opening here. These guys are starting to crumble. Ah, whoops. You just keep hitting those. You hit them. Right, these guys are breaking. You come into there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Really could do with a sword unit. And you work with the elephants. You fire onto the backs of those. Uh, kind of tempted to bring that cavalry, my general, round here because this general can support here. Wait, don't stand around. Do something. If you've got any ammunition left, you've got a little bit of ammunition left. Royal Cavalry in. And these guys are breaking. Hey, pull away. You're a heavy shot, Cav. You shouldn't be tangling with them. Uh, these slingers have got no ammunition. Right. Sarissa's so pull away. We crush on those. Actually, you support these. Come this way. These guys have got still got some ammunition. So where are you? You're just over here. You pull the, uh, No, you pull back this way. Okay, push, 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 push. Okay, these guys are on the loose. Round him. You round there. Armored elephants, push harder. Just push through them. Actually, no, withdraw. Um. General pull back. Hoplite is this way. I think we can send you over here. We're going to have to restructure these armies anyway. Yeah, I know. I think if we get a dual charge on these guys, <clears throat> the morale's already low. <clears throat> Apologies, my voice is breaking a little bit. No. And we get a little bit of a charge here. Right. Spearman round the back. Cut off this unit here. You guys get back here. General get in close. Right. Right. These guys are breaking. These guys are breaking. Uh, where's the... Ready for orders. Glory. Ready. Yes, uh, elephants, back. Uh, slingers, you join the fun because you've got nothing else to do. You crushing on these. Oops, we've got Italian guard here. Um... Pull out, pull out. You shouldn't be fighting Italian guard. Yep, that's understandable. Right, the general unit is dying here. Right. 
really could do with the flingers out you come this way these guys can push this way what we got over here oi and you guys actually got into the battle yet not fair okay. what we really need to see this unit is virtually unbreakable because it's when you've got a unit like this that's right on the front, the only way you can break them is by getting in with the rear attacks. Right, these guys are going. Um, so we can afford to take the losses to a certain degree. Right, these guys are crumbling. <laughs> Sarissa's in battle, yes. Oh, that was long. Lost 404. I don't think we actually lost any units, but of course we, some of our units are pretty badly beaten up. So, and as I said at the beginning of the video, if the Romans are beaten, what we're going to have to do now is consolidate what we've got. It goes to show the Romans can be beaten as long as you can get behind them. You know, you know firing slingers at the front of them and just rushing straight out at their front line is just a waste of time. You've got to pin them and then envelop them. And if you can get slingers out on the flanks and fire in from the sides as well, you, you can you can beat them. Although it is fun. Even my general, who uh, I was keeping out the battle, took 21 victories. Cat, the elephants did 285. I mean, this armoured elephant is really awesome. And that should be the end of Rome. There goes their army, there goes their navy. And of course, we're just going to occupy. Commander. And Rome is destroyed. And that is it, guys. <laughs> and we're just going to get you back here because you're going to have to stabilize this area here. Because we're going to have lots of kind of rebellions and stuff around here now. And I can't tell. Construction, you construct a new building. See, if you leave this site undeveloped too long, it will come so we need do need to actually put something in here i would like to uh, what's this here auxiliary military recruitment that's broken so we we can what can we cut this do heroes barracks what is what level is heroes barracks that's a tier two barracks that could be quite nice actually we'll leave that for the moment i just need to get this sorted out we've got a harbor port here Okay, um, we're okay for food at the moment, but my instinct is put food in here. But though this is a fishing village, we should be able to get fishing boats, don't we? Which is down this route here, which actually, I think we'll put a fishing village in there and consecrated grounds. I think we're, we're going to need a temple in here to try and convert everything. Let's have a quick look around and see if we've got any more. Um, and so we need to sort this mess out here. Birding grants, free food. There. Rome is there. So what we need to do now is just consolidate everything here. And I think just to finish the video off, I'm just going to pop one turn just to see what happens. I think you can now join the army and just train them up a little bit. Uh, you can consolidate those units there. The Sarissas. Everything else I'd like to keep for the moment. But, but we, so we're just going to shoot an intern and that would be it for the video. Okay, need for cavalry. Rally. Um, cavalry recruitment, horsemanship. Well, cavalry recruits in all provinces. Uh, I think we'll go for cavalry training because I might be tempted to recruit a Fuka. So we got uh, an idiot here rebelling. We can kind of come down here and give him a right seeing to. Rome is now. How, how big is the garrison now in this area in Asculum? <laughs> Nine. Plus, we got a. Uh, more navy here for some reason my 
and cargo thing is faction destroyed Ligeria and season weather household expands Doctor unhappy population in Megalagratia yes well it goes without saying I think overall the population is relatively happy here so I think what we're going to do is bring this army up to kind of try and do a few things my instinct is to come down and bash these yozos straight out of the box and get rid of them this would be absolutely ridiculous if they suddenly be able to take Ascalon plus it gives us a little bit of extra cash there you are bye bye mm. What we'll do is we'll put them roughly in the centre here. You can just stand here. And you've got should be three units now, so you should be able to patrol. That should kind of half help improve the public order here. And what I need to do now, and you can actually... You, uh, you don't have enough units to patrol. So what I need to do now is start sorting out this mess. I think my instinct is to do Consentia first because that's where the Romans could come from. I'm um, not the Romans, the Carthaginians come from. Got to get used to the idea that the Romans are no longer around. 160 for subsistence. I think cash is going to be the issue. So and that would give me a garrison of 12. Yeah, so I think we'll take you up to 225. Uh, we got we keep the herding ground just for the moment we can't go up any more now because we need agricultural advances so Constantia is good uh, Rome is good Rome is kind of being consolidated can't really build anything else just at the moment no, we can't build anything at all at the moment because we've only got 1500 and these are tier two buildings. I um, certainly want that Roman village there. Yeah, we just need to raise the money to get that. I think what I will do is we don't need two ports here, so we can take down one of those. We'll leave one for the moment for the cash. This one we can may turn into ordinary fishing. Let me just see now. I mean, we're not out of the woods by a long way. Well, let's kind of take a quick sneak peek down here. See if Carthage has got any armies in this area. No, they haven't. Right. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. But probably the next couple of parts, we're going to have to consolidate Italia. We've got a few problems over here which need to be sorted out. So we may have to send a small army over here. To deal with any rebels in the short term and when we got two other armies that need to be refurbished so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>